And this session, we are going to tackle about geometric mean or means. When you say geometric means, these are the term or terms between any two given terms of geometric sequence. Kung baga sa arithmetic sequence, ang tawag naman sa kanya ay arithmetic mean. Dito naman kay geometric sequence, ang tawag naman sa kanya ay geometric means. Kung kay arithmetic sequence, averaging ang pagkuha niya, dito naman, uh, the formula for the geometric mean is equal to m is equal to positive and negative square root of a, B, where M is your geometric mean and A and B are the given terms. So, what you are going to do? You are going to multiply the two given numbers and then find the square root. Kaya po yan positive and negative kasi hinahanap natin yung square root of A number. Is it clear? Let us have an example. Number 1. Find the geometric mean between 5 and 45. Meaning, we have 5 Blank, and then we have 45. So for us to find the middle number of this geometric me, uh, geometric sequence, let us have the formula. M is equal to positive and negative square root of AB. This would be your A, then this is your B. So we have here positive and negative square root of 5 multiplied by 45. So we have here equal to positive and negative. 5 times 45, the answer is 225. Then, just find the square root of 225. So, your mean is equals to positive and negative 15. That is it. So, your answer here should be positive and negative 15. Meaning, pwede si positive 15, pwede rin si negative 15. Alright? So, bakit pwede si positive 15? Kasi pwede ditong positive ang ratio mo. So, what would be the ratio? Uh, multiplied by 3. So, 5 times 3, 15. 15 times 3, the answer is 45. O kaya, pwede rin namang negative. Ang common ratio mo. Kung 5 times negative 3, the answer is negative 15. Negative 15 times negative 3, the answer is positive 45. Kaya po, kapag mean ang hinaha, geometric mean, ang gagamitin nating formula, it should be positive and negative. Is it clear? Let us have another example. Number 2. We have here 2 blank and then 40. So, we are going to find for the geometric mean ulit. So, therefore, your formula is m is equal to positive and negative square root of ab. So, m is equal to positive and negative square root of your a is 2. Then, your b is 40. Then, just multiply. So, we have here positive and negative square root of 2 times 40, that is 80. Then, since 80 is not a perfect square, we are going to find two factors na ang isa ay perfect square. So, it is equal to positive and negative square root of, so, the factors of 80, we have here 16 times 5. So, si 16 is a perfect square. Okay? So, it is equal to positive and negative. What's the square root of 16? We have 4, yung 4 labas mo. We have 4. So, ang matitira ay si square root of 5. So, we're done. So, this is now your mean. So, the answer here is positive and negative 4 square root of 5. Pwede um, positive 4 square root of 5 or negative square root of 5. Alright? Let us have another example. Number 3. This time, as you can see, dalawa ang nawawala nating geometric means. So, kapag dalawa na yung nawawala natin geometric means, we cannot apply the, um, the formula of the geometric means. So, ang gagamitin natin yung formula ni n term. Alright? We are going to find for the common ratio using the um, formula of the n term of geometric sequence. Diba? Ang formula natin kay geometric sequence ay a sub n equals to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. So, we are going to find for the common ratio. Yun yung target natin. Find the common ratio para i-multiply na lang natin si common ratio sa ating mga given numbers para ma-fill up natin yung mga nawawalang geometric means. Is it clear? Let us find the given. Your first term, we have here 4. Obviously, we have 4. Yan yung unang term. Then, ang r is missing. 
Yan yung hahanapin natin. Pero may last term tayo. Ang last term natin is 500. And then your N, ilan lahat sila? 1, 2, 3, 4. So that is your N. Alright? Then we are going to substitute. So your last term is 500. So just substitute it. 500 is equal to your first term we have here 4. Just copy 4. Then, R is missing. Just write R. Ang N natin is 4. Change N into 4 minus 1. Then, afterwards, simplify. 500 is equals to 4. Then, R. Then, 4 minus 1. The answer is 3. So, we have here R cubed. And then, kailangan mawala yung 4 dyan. So, i-divide natin to by 4. By 4 and then by 4. Cancelled out 4 here. So, magkakaroon tayo ng R cube equals to 500 divided by 4. The answer is 125. Kailangan mawala si cube dyan kasi R lang naman yung nahanap natin. So, find the cube root. Cube root. Find the cube root. Cancelled out, cancelled out. Therefore, your R is equal to cube root ni 125. You are going to think a number na pag minultiply mo ng tatlong beses... The answer is 125. The answer here is 5. So, that is your common ratio. We have 5. Tinan niya. 5 times 5, 25 times 5, 125. So, the cube root of 125 is 5. Is it clear? Then, since you have now your common ratio, you are going to multiply it to your first term. 4 times 5. The answer is 20. Next, 20 times 5. The answer is 100. 100 times 5, the answer is 500. Secure? So, yun lang yan. So, we have 4 times 5, the answer is 20. Next, so we have 20 times 5, the answer is 100. This is your A sub 2, then this is your A sub 3. That is the missing arithmetic means. Is it clear? Another example tayo. For number 4, We have three geometric means na nawawala. So, let us use again the formula for the n term para kuhanin na lang natin si common ratio. So, we have your first term. Let us have the given. Your first term is 81. Your last term is 1. And then, the number of terms involved are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have here 5. Then, let us have your formula. A sub n is equals to A sub 1. Then, R raised to um, n minus 1. Then, substitute. Our last term we have here, 1, is equal to your first term we have here, 81. Then, you have your, the missing is R. Just copy R. Then, we have here, 4, uh, 5 minus 1. Ito, simplify lang natin. So, 1 is equals to 81. Then, R raised to 4. Right? Then, afterwards, you are going to divide it both sides by 81 by 81. Cancel out. So, then we have here, R raised to 4 is equals to 1 over 81. Then, find the 4th root. 4th root. Ayan. So, cancel out the 4 here, the exponent 4, then the 4th root. Then, you have your R, then... What would be the 4th root of 1? We have here 1 pa rin. Over. Next, 4th root of 81. Think a number na kapag minultiply mo ng 4 na beses, 4 na beses, sasagot ay 81. So, the answer here is 3. Kasi 3 times 3, 9 times 3, 27. 27 times 3, 81. So, your common ratio is 1 third. Since you have now your common ratio, multiply mo na lang doon. 81 times 1 third, the answer is 27. 27 times 1 third, the answer is 9. 9 times 1 third, the answer is 3. 3 times 1 third, the answer is 1. So, you have now your geometric means. Is it clear? So, we insert 3 geometric means in the given 81 and 1. Is it clear? Next tayo, let us have the last example. Number 5. 
Insert for geometric means between 3 and 96. So, maglalagay tao tayo ng apat na geometric means sa gitna ni 3 and 96. So, meaning, ang given mo ay 3, then 1, 2, 3, 4, then 96. So, apat yung ating ilalagay sa gitna. So, again, we are going to find for the common ratio by using the formula of the n term of geometric sequence. So, your first term, we have here 3. Your last term, we have here 96. And then, the number of terms involved are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ayan. Then, yung R yung ating hahanapin. So, your formula is A sub N is equal to A sub 1, R raised to N minus 1. So, your last term, we have here 96, is equal to your first term, we have here 3. Then, multiplied by R. Nawawala si R. Ang N natin is 6 minus 1. Then, afterwards, we have here 96 is equals to 3. Then, R raised to 6 minus 1, we have here 5. Then, we are going to divide both sides by 3 and by 3. Cancelled out 3 here. Ang matitira na lang dito ay si... We have here R raised to 5 is equal to 96 divided by 3. So, 96 divided by 3, the answer is 32. Now, we are going to find for the fifth root. Fifth root. Cancelled out 5 here and then yung root. So, matitira na lang ay si R. Now, think a number na pag minultiply mo sa kanya sarili ng limang beses, the answer is 32. So, the answer here is 2. That is your common ratio. Tingnan nyo. 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8. 8 times 2, 16 times 2, 32. Yung best mo siya multiply, the answer is 2. Is it clear? Since you have now your common ratio, multiply na natin si common ratio sa ating first term para makuha natin yung second term. So, if you are going to multiply, 3 times 2, you have here 6. This is the second term. 6 times 2, you have here 12. 12 times 2, you have here 24. 24 times 2, the answer is 48. And 48 times 2, the answer is 96. Alright, we're done. So, this is the four arithmetic, uh, four geometric means of between 3 and 96. So, that is it. That is geometric mean or means. So, hopefully, may natutunan kayo for this day and you enjoy our topic for today. And then, if you have questions, pwede kayo mag-comment sa ating comment box. So, thank you for listening. Bye-bye!